Some of you may have noticed that on quick setting toggles for Samsung uh, S uh, line, uh, Samsung Galaxy S phones, uh, starting from Samsung S5 and up, uh, you do not have the mobile data and also mobile hotspot available uh, on your phone. Uh, you can add this uh, and I will explain, uh, you know, I will show you how you can add that to your phone. So basically you need to restore the mobile data and mobile hotspot um, from the code base itself. Uh, there's an article published on XDA developers showing how to do it. I'm just going to show you step by step, uh, you know, how you can do it at home. So, you know, in case that you couldn't follow this particular guide, uh, you'll be able to follow, um, you know, the video itself. I also have published a article on this and I will leave links to both of these articles uh, in the description. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do, you need to set your uh, cell phone uh, to work with your computer. What you need to do actually, you need to enable the developer mode. To do that, go to your settings, find about phone, click on software information and find the bill number and tap on that for about six times. You will get a message uh, at the end of, uh, you know, tapping on them that for six, about six times uh, stating that the developer mode has been enabled. Now, if you have a, a password lock on your phone, it will ask you to enter the password and once you do that, you'll, uh, you'll see this message uh, pops up on the bottom of the screen. If you go back to uh, your settings after this uh, message has been uh, shown, at the very bottom, you'll see an option called developer options. Click on the developer option and find uh, USB debugging and turn on the USB debugging. So for now, just turn on the D USB debugging and, you know, and you're good to go. Then plug the comp uh, cell phone uh, onto your computer using the USB uh, cable. So now you have um, plugged back in uh, the comp uh, cell phone into computer, you need to download the platform tools. You can download uh, from the Android developers website. They have three versions, uh, Windows OS, Mac OS and Linux. Uh, I'm going to do this with the Windows machine, so I will be downloading the SDK platform tools for Windows. Uh, once you download that, uh, you can extract that to wherever you like, and you'll get a folder with a bunch of stuff like this. You don't need to know what they are, but they're pretty much developer um, you know, met, you know, files. The next thing you need to do, actually, you need to open your command in this folder. Anything Windows 7 and up, you can open directly here by typing CMD and press enter and it should open the command within that folder under platform tools. The other option you can do is you can go to start and type CMD and it'll get you to this screen. And in my case, I have the platform tools in the desktop, so I can go CD desktop and then go CD uh, platform tools, and it'll get me to platform tools. Now, the next thing we need to do, we need to find if your device is connected and it's properly communicating with the computer. To do that, you're gonna do ADB devices, and it'll turn on the server, ADB server, and it'll list your device on the command prompt. Now, when you do this uh, during, um, you know, during its searching for uh, the device, it may say unauthorized. So if in here, instead of saying device, if it shows unauthorized, what you need to do, you need to go back into your phone and uh, you may see a pop-up. The pop-up will say something like this. 
do you want to allow this particular computer to access your cell phone? And you're going to say yes. And you're going to put always allow from this computer and click OK. Now, if you don't see this option, um, then I will tell you what you need to do. But if you do see this option, you just click on always allow from this computer and click OK. And then go again, the same thing, ADB devices, and your device should show up with uh, its information up down here. Now, if it shows unauthorized or that there's no device showing up here, uh, and even after you allowing here, uh, it doesn't show up, what are you going to do? You're going to go back up to the, uh, go back into the, uh, you, uh, the developer options, and you're going to click on revoke USB debugging authorizations, which basically are going to clear the cache. So once you do that, go back into the command and type adb kill server. It's going to destroy the, it's going to stop the server. Then you're going to go adb devices and it's going to restart the server and it's, it will look for the new phones. Now, if you still don't get this option, if it still say unauthorized or no devices showing up here, uh, what you can do actually, uh, you need to find um, the uh, USB drivers. I will put a link to uh, my article uh, for, US, uh, for this and at the very bottom you'll see uh, under the section errors and solutions you'll see a link to uh, USB drivers uh, because you can get these USB drivers from the uh, Android website and you can download it uh, from there. And you should, uh, by troubleshooting this way, be able to get uh, the server running and the computer and the device to communicate to each other. Should be able to get them to communicate to each other. So once you have that, uh, what do you need to do? Uh, you need to go to uh, the, sh you need to get shell access. To do that, you're gonna put adb shell and it'll give you shell access. Uh, once you have the shell access, uh, what do you need? Uh, you need to get the current configuration saved so that if something goes wrong, especially, you can put it back <laughs> to where it was before. Uh, and also you need the current configuration to add the new one. So to get the current configuration, you're going to type settings. Get secure. Sys UI underscore QS underscore tiles, T I L. Yes, and press enter. You're going to see a long string of information. You don't need to know much about what they are. Basically, it shows all the tiles that are available. I have already added mobile data. You can see it up down up here. Uh, so what are you going to do? We're going to copy this information uh, to, a, uh, uh, to a, um, notepad because you need this information. So you're going to paste it in the notepad and if you want to add just mobile data what are you going to do comma you're going to put mobile data and if you want a mobile hotspot you can do mobile hotspot you can add both um, so it's perfectly you know fine you can add uh, both or you can add one um, sorry mobile hotspot should read just uh, hotspot and what are you going to do uh, after uh, you have uh, that? Uh, you're going to press parentheses. It's very important you put the parentheses. And you're going to copy this. And then um, you're going to put, instead of put getting, uh, sorry, uh, se settings get secure, which will get the information already on the file you will change the get to put. So you're going to go settings, put secure, sys UI underscore QS underscore tiles, and then you're going to paste 
whatever you copied here. You can right click, it'll paste there. And then press enter. Now I'm not gonna press enter because reason for that is I already have done this and I already have the mobile hotspot. But uh, once you do that, um, press, you know, it'll take about a couple of seconds for after you press enter, it should, the mobile hotspot and mobile data should appear on your quick settings um, options. Uh, if you just want mobile data, just put mobile data. If you want hotspot, you can put just hotspot. But the most important part is when you copy and paste it, make sure you put parentheses here and parentheses at the end and copy the entire code and paste it there. And uh, that's pretty much it. And it should show up there and you should be good to go. And if you have any questions, uh, you can send me a message. And I also posted really good useful uh, tools uh, and steps that you can take to troubleshoot any issues on my article and I will post a link uh, in the description. Uh, thank you so much and have a nice day.